Welcome back everyone to the channel. In this video, I will be explaining you how you can upload an Excel file via Power App and how you can save the Excel data into SharePoint list and then in turn showing that data in Power Apps again. So for that, I will be creating one blank app. I will name that as a upload Excel demo. So I will be adding one media control that is add picture. So this same control will be used to upload. So I'll just update the text as add a file. Now I have this media control. Now I'll drag one button. So button I'll name it as upload file. So when this button will be clicked, I have to call one power automate flow. I'll just add one, create new flow. So I'll choose the template as upload a photo from SharePoint uh, to SharePoint from Power Apps. I'll select this one. So this will automatically gives us few actions which will create files based on our power input. So I'll rename it as upload Excel file. So that I can identify my flow and under this I'll select the location where I would like to get that excel file created. I'll choose my document library. So let's say share documents. So this automatically taking create file name and as well as like uh, the in the file content is taking output of this action convert to binary image. So oh, I am still getting one error so that means uh, this two field is required if on failure so I'll just set this email so that if, if the flow fails then it should trigger the email to this email address. So now we are good so before moving that I will be changing the formula so data URI to binary I would not need this as uh, I showed you previously as well while uploading picture that we will be passing the binary data itself. So we are good. I'm saving it so though uh, the the file creation part is there but I would like to read this Excel to a SharePoint list so that part I'll take care uh, afterwards I'll just use this upload Excel file flow in my this uh, power app so it's adding this one so now you can see it's taking two parameters so I'll pass the parameters add media button dot file name as first parameter and then file content I need to pass so for file content I'll be using add media button dot media and as I said uh, this media would not be passing the binary data so I need to convert this one so I would be using JSON function and in JSON I'll use JSON format as include binary data so now we are good now as i said that once the file is uploaded to this document library then it should read to one of our lists so i have already created one list for employee title employee name and department and the same excel file i would be having under my the the file which i am going to upload so i'll just go to my excel file so it's employee template data i'll just open this one so that i can show what it's having so it's having name title and department so this is just a template and why i am using template first because in my power flow in my uh, flow i have to specify one file from where i can read these fields so that's why i'm just importing one blank file initially after that i will use the employee file which is having the actual data so i'm just closing this and going back to my flow and in this flow i'll add one extra activity that is excel online business all right so in this i'll be reading out the list rows present in a table right and then i'll choose the connections so i'll select my spfx site 
and I'll select library and I'll browse the template so this is not a finding template because I need to save it I'm just saving it and I'll just one once again I'll upload this update this so that it can start reading that file okay so I have not dragged my excel file over there so I need to do that excel online business list represent and then choose up the site library and now I'm getting my employee template and why I need that because I would like to have these column available to be mapped in my SharePoint list so the table name table name is table 1 now I will add another action that is apply to each because I would like to read all the rows so I'm apply to each and in apply to each I'm passing the value of list of items which I get from the previous tab and then I add one create item action of SharePoint select the name select the list that is employee list and in the advanced field I will be mapping up my fields which were there in the excel file so I'll map up title as title employee name as name and department as department and this is why because these fields I would be only getting if I use a blank template file before before using the actual file so now I'm done I'll save this flow okay so now we are done and so as I selected uh, this file in this uh, from from the static file so now I'll be reading out my actual file going forward so I'll just save it first of all and then go to my power app so as I know my the new file name would be employee data xls so I'll be passing this one and uh, I'll change my file over here with the name which I'll be passing and which is there I'm reading from power app so create file name all right I'll pass the custom value as table one and save so I have passed I have passed my arguments there and so I believe we are set to go I'll just run this one I'm browsing my file employee data and when I click on upload I should see that file to be uploaded over here so I could see employee detail all which was my file was there now if I refresh it it also gets populated with that data so as I shown you <coughs> my employee data file contains these two names my spfx list also gets populated with this so till now what we have done is we have uploaded one excel file and we have created one file in our sharepoint library using that excel file and reading out that excel file data in our list so everything is being done using this uh, flow where we created one file then we read out the excel table and then created all the items using that apply to each function now the next part now i want to show my list the employee list within my power app so now i'll use uh, one library control the gallery so i'll just choose the horizontal gallery i need to specify the data source for it so before that i want to drag it down I'll select this one and moving it a bit down and now I click on this pencil icon so that I can specify the data source for it I'll choose the SharePoint as data source and select my site not this one select my site and choose the employee list so my employee list is now binded to this gallery but now I would like to show this these pictures and the detail with that data so I just change the layout to this one 
so it has starting showing me the title and my employee name so i can if i was having this image field and i must have replaced that image field from the selected icon but i have not uh, done that so it, this is just for demo so now you can bind up that imported excel file data within your power app so you can have this on a different screen and make that navigation work as well so in crux this uh, the the overall objective is how you can upload an excel file in sharepoint how you can create a sharepoint list out of it and then how you can show the same sharepoint list on your canvas app so i hope so we got the point so if you like the video then please do drop a comment and also subscribe to the channel thank you